Now going to enter in some dates so we can see our Gantt chart and our schedule here take a little bit more shape. I'm going to say that detailing is going to start on Monday, April 4th. Uh, today is the 3rd. We'll say it's going to start tomorrow. And I'm going to do this pretty simply. Um, I'm going to do enter edit mode here. I'm going to hit yes. What I'm going to do, anything in yellow is something that you can change. So in other words, I can't change the summary task, the detailing. I can only change the child task. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to say I could select a date if I wanted to. And But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this, um, I'm going to leave that date there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say the... Let me pull this out a little bit and go back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say that sequence one detailing is going to take five days. And you'll see that what it did was it went from 4-4 to 4-8. So it held that start date and then put in the duration of days right there. So, and now this duration is only working days, not calendar days. It's working days. So that's what I'm dealing with. So I'm going to say all of these are five. So All right. So I've, got, I've given myself a week for each of those sequences. And notice that because of the links, Everything is filling in and pushing out based off of the links that we've already put in place um, in our previous videos. Um, so everything's pushing out. Fabrication of sequence one right now is planned to start on April the 11th, which that's a quick approval process, but that's what we're saying. So it's going to take five days. Um, and then for fabrication, we're going to put in, we're going to have five days for each of these as well. Once again, I could just change the dates if I wanted to. Um, I'm going to change the actual duration here since I have my link set up. Um, so I'm going to say shipping is going to take two days here, we'll say. Whoops, not five. Used to hitting five. And erection, we'll say it's five dates as well. All right. So based off of all of that, I've got a schedule set up, which takes me out to May 24th on this particular project. So um, just by filling in the, your starting date with your link set up, then you can just put in the duration for each one of the tasks um, and then it will fill it on out for you. So detailing is going to take 25 days, fabrication 25, shipping 22, direction 25 days there. So, And that's all pushing out um, based off of the number of days. Let's talk about those days though. How does it know that I'm working just Monday through Friday. Is that an assumption or is that a setting? Let's go, let's go look at some settings here. Let's go to project management <clears throat> and we're going to go to calendars. If you'll remember right, when we were setting up a uh, resource, if I go back here to maintenance, project management and resources, if you'll remember we were tying a specific resource to a specific calendar. So let's talk a little bit about this calendar because that is going to affect how things happen here on our on our project schedule. So let's talk about the um, let's talk about the calendar for a minute. So I've got calendar set up here. This is our standard calendar. I could add a new calendar as well. Now that would make sense in the case where of a company that has multiple sites. You might have different um, calendars that you go by for uh, at various sites. You could do that if you wanted to. Um, or if one site is working on a Saturday and another site is not, you can use that to your advantage and set up separate calendars. I'm going to deal with the one calendar here. And here's where, we're, where I'm saying based off of this calendar, 
we're working Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday by default. Okay. But notice down here there, I can add in working day exceptions as well. So let's go look at that. Um, right now, I don't have any set up, but to illustrate, I'm going to go new here, and I'm going to say Memorial Day because it is coming up soon. It is not a working day, so I'm leaving that unchecked. I'm going to tag that with May 30th and go add, and you'll, and you'll see it show up over here. Actually, it's going to pop up and tell me that I can't do it because i got my schedule open. So um, just a little point that if somebody's accessing it, you're not going to be able to. So I will say save that Gantt chart. So now I want to go add. It should pop it over there. So let's go back. I'm going to leave this open. We're going to come back to it. I want to go back into that schedule and see what that did on May 30th. You see, um, all, every Saturday and Sunday is grayed out, and it's not applying any any work during those days um, when we're saying we're not working. If I go out to May 30th, though, you can see that on that Monday is grayed out as well. So this is starting the May 29th on that Sunday, and then Monday the 30th is grayed out also. So whenever I do that in the schedule, it's going to gray those days out. So let me go back over here. We'll put in a couple more just to illustrate Independence Day. That's going to be, of course, on July 4th. And two by fourth, add, and so, so you can go on down through there, put in all your holidays and all every, every um, day that you might that you might be taken off as a shop. But now notice also there that I can check this as is a working day. So I'm going to, I'm going to put in a new one here. I'm going to say Saturday work. I'm going to say it is a working day, and let's just say that the week of. Um, we're right here today. Let's say this coming Saturday we're planning on working. So we're going to add. Let's go see what that does to us here. So if I go back over here to my schedule, you're going to see that this coming Saturday is not grayed out anymore. And it actually planned uh, some of the some some time for these tasks on that date. So. We're showing that as not, not having been scheduled. This brings up another point, though, with um, where you might want to have multiple schedules. So you know, we're assigning resources here. So we assigned a resource of, let me spread this out here so you can see. For detailing here, we assigned a resource of detailing. Fabrication, we assigned a resource of fabrication. Might make sense to have detailing with its own calendar so that the shop may be working this Saturday but detailing isn't so there's another reason where you might want to have your own um, have schedules or, or excuse me calendars set up um, differently you might have a detailing calendar a shop calendar so on and so forth to apply to each one of the resources individually there so I'm going to take back out this Saturday work, but that could be applied if I needed to further on down. So, based off of doing, oh, it's not going to let me because I have my calendar open. Schedule is being accessed. Uh, okay, so let's, now we can delete that. There we go. So that's our calendar that we that we would need to make sure we have set up, and you would go back and apply different um, days you're going to take off or days, additional days you might be working. But just by putting in these days, having your, your, your calendar set up so that it knows what days are working, then your um, schedule starts to take shape and it'll, it'll fill in for you as you go. When we come back in the next video, we're going to talk about some of these um, particular uh, fields right here and uh, get into that a little bit more.